truck. Yes. Woo. Okay. <laughs> I got it. So he's going to be talking about BigQuery with uh, Google Cloud Platform okay. um, and how you can make it easier to get, I guess it's stream analytics from it. So yeah, I'm going to let him take it away mm -hmm. and talk about it. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. The M King Job in Vietnamese means architecture. And for previous year, I working as a backend developer, uh, mostly on analytics and API development. And I also a member of Ubuntu VN, a open source community in Vietnam, where people sharing their knowledge, their passion about open source software. So. It has been a long time since my last talk, so I'm a little bit nervous right now, but I hope I can give you my... So what about this uh, presentation? For, for the last few days, you might hear about Google BigQuery and what BigQuery can do, and the people also do that um, like blockchain on the BigQuery or analyze um, GitHub upload on the GitHub so-called into BigQuery. But uh, in this case, I want to share my experience about using BigQuery for building a near real-time analytics system for my company. And actually, BigQuery is not a database, it's just a data warehouse, and it's, on, it's not also uh, open source. Uh, you know, this is a commercial product from, from Google, but with my false spirit, I want to share it's on like open knowledge. Okay, and first, uh, I want to share about my experience working with Google Data Store. Uh, we are a startup company, and my boss wants to build a fast product with uh, extremely easy to manage. And so we designed to use Google App Engine and DB and Data Store for that purpose. And it's really fast. I mean that we can write a code and immediately deploy it to production and make the change. And we need to handle something like about the transaction and contention, but it's, you know, we can overcome it easily. But one day, my boss asked because we had customer and my boss start asking how many user currently on our system. And at that time, I need to, it's an easy question, that I just need to write in accounting from uh, our database. But Data Store has some limitation for an NDB when we do counting, it's actually fetching all the data down and count it one by one. It doesn't support any aggregation. So uh, we, uh, in, in that case, uh, we have to write a very complex query because uh, with NoSQL, people need to write a code and it doesn't support relation join uh, like SQL database. And aggregation is a nightmare, not just only with data store. If you use MongoDB, you write in counting or some anything relating to aggregation is my time. Even with the uh, map reduce, writing the coding is very difficult with relationship. And we might use uh, Redis and Catching for counting, but if the boss check the question, how many people have, like how many user in the system have more than three mutual friends. It's very difficult to write it in coding. But it, it, for us, uh, we need to take time to write the dashboard and report. And uh, at that time, I gave up and finding another solution for our system that I came up with BigQuery. So the advantage of BigQuery is that uh, people don't need to learn about Python code or uh, MapReduce to writing, uh, writing, writing report. Like everyone, like the BI business intelligence or uh, data scientists can use SQL to get the data from our data store, and extremely fast comparing with the data store because uh, everything is handled by Google themselves, and uh, we just need to make sure how we can get the data from the data store back into the BigQuery 
and it's, uh, the cost is very affordable because comparing with a standalone SQL Server, the BigQuery costs just how much you run, uh, how, how, how much data you running, scanning, and this is an advantage. But for us, we need to know how to get the data into the BigQuery. For the reverse presentation, people uh, talk about how we can use BigQuery to query the data, but the, the first thing we must do getting the data into the BigQuery, it doesn't like a database, it's much more like a hardup, so we need to get the data into BigQuery. Uh, for the first, uh, first version of uh, BigQuery system we use, that we directly using the cloud data store as the application database, and our application trigger have a cron to trigger export into the Google Cloud storage. And like one, once an hour, we trigger an export, and we have configured uh, object notification on the Google Cloud storage. So it would notify our application if we have a new backup file, and then application need to trigger uh, import from Google Cloud storage into Google BigQuery. And at that time, we also have a uh, open source dashboard con readers for visualization, the chart, and the data. But we also have a problem that by the importing loading data from Google Data Store Backup, it takes more, about one hour for all the process. So in that case, uh, backup operation also affect very bad into the performance of our application because it's costing reading and reading into the data store block other operation on our system so we cannot do it more frequently and the boss if he wants to know the data right now not one hour before so i have two ways the easy way i just need to find another boss and the hard way finding a solution okay and at that time i made some research about how we can load data directly into BigQuery in real time. And they support an ADI that in the ADI to insert data into BigQuery using raw raw data like insert is raw by raw. If you have a new data you just need to put into the BigQuery and it would available immediately for query, not for other as uh, other tasks like export, but for query is would available immediately. And in this case, when our application make any change on entity or database, we uh, make change on cloud data store. We also have published an event into Google Cloud PubSub. And with Google Cloud PubSub, uh, they guarantee that our message would be same, but it's not it would send twice or uh, many times because they have a retry mechanism. And we build a data stream worker using uh, Kubernetes and Python. It's very simple code to insert data into BigQuery. And at that time, we have another problem with the instruct, instruct real-time data that it just support insert only. We cannot do update or delete and recall onto, into this data set because they just support insert for fasted data loading. And we need to also to uh, remove the duplication recall because uh, with Pub, Google Cloud BookSub, they can send in a message twice or many times because of retry because the network and the, we need to resolve this problem. And this is just my simple code of getting data from Google Cloud PubSub, putting the message and reprocess the data and push the data into the BigQuery and then make acknowledge for the Google Cloud PubSub. And after that, uh, I find out the solution that we need just to combine the loading data from daily, daily backup and the streaming to get the real-time data. And there is some problem that we need to resolve. First is we need to combine two data sets. So for, 
for example, if you have a query like get some number of the user on the system, we need to submit on both uh, the real-time data set and the backup data set, and we combine it together using a union as well command. And uh, we also need to deduplicate the ID and get just the last most of that of the data so that when a uh, data check, it means we remove the old data and get the new data only. But uh, for, for deletion, we need to wait about one day when we have a full backup of our system. And we need also have a policy to expire the data so that with real-time data should need to keep about one or two days and we don't need to keep it because it contains every data on the system we need to keep it very small for faster query and this is um, like uh, from the best practice from Google that we can do as well to get the data from real-time data set and remove the duplication and this is how we come to get all the data real time. It's called near real time, not really real time. And this is the result, this result that we also use the data studio for visualization, the, the chart and the report. And you know that but under the data studio is still on beta, but the fancy UI and the easy to use and a lot of tool make the force certified so he loves to keep it on our system as a dashboard and replace the Redux open source software. And this is just my experience about building the BigQuery using uh, build, using BigQuery to building and real, near real time analytics system and I think that the talk is just a lightning talk about how to use if you have any concern you can go to uh, google.com and documentation they have on about the uh, best practice and documentation about how to build a full system and now I think if uh, if anyone have any question about using BigQuery, I think that if you join in this section, you on, already know about the database, you already know how to make the report and how to use the thing. So I I think that with two years of using BigQuery and Google Cloud platform, I can discuss about this one for you. Except the guy working on cloud platform. So I think you have more experience than me, really. So, uh, question. Question? Yes. Did you have any duplication issues in your real time stream? Yes. Yeah. Duplication issues. Yeah, duplication yeah. issues in the pop stop route to Yes. Query. Yes. I have duplication uh, at on time because the Google pop stop. Uh, usually trimming is that two message instead of one mm -hmm. and for duplication I use the uh, rather than I remove it from BigQuery I write an SQL uh, query to get the most updated data so if you have two raw I with the same ID I just get the most recent one into the data, data so that we can overcome the problem of duplication and also we can uh, get the most updated data instead of the old one. Yeah. And then on the other side, missing data? Mm, yes, I, ha, we have some missing data with the, with the it seems like the problem of the BigQuery not from the Google Cloud Bookshop because sometimes uh, the insert uh, the insert process get the data into the BigQuery, we can get it from the dashboard, but from the query is not immediately available. It takes about a few minutes for the data to be available, so I call this at near real time, not the real time system. Mm. And what, what sort of error rates were there? Error? How, how many percent were missing? How many percent were duplicate? Hmm, I don't remember, but. Duplication just about 
two to five percent only is not too much for our system. And is there anybody interesting in BigQuery and how to use the BigQuery for the application? Any question? So, uh, what would be an alternative to BigQuery? You wanted to evaluate. Uh, okay, for the anti native to BigQuery. <coughs> Actually, um, before BigQuery, I used Hadoop and Hive. Hadoop for like big data processing and data warehouse, and Hive for SQL, SQL like query. and. For this one, I think BigQuery come with very affordable cost. With the Hadoop and the Hive, we have to set up about two cluster and running for like our data. But for BigQuery, we just need to pay for what, how much data we process, and just each time we run process, they do catching and they do optimization for us. With the Hadoop or Hive, we need to check it by ourselves, and the time is not guaranteed uh, because if our data is not very huge, but for the Hadoop, it might take a few minutes to get the real result, but BigQuery is about a few seconds for the data. So I think it's more affordable price. For, but people talk about RedShift uh, from service from the Amazon, AWS, and from my opinion that BigQuery is suitable for small startup because the data is not too big and we don't need to manage, um, manage all the infrastructure for using the data and the this uh, service. But for the Amazon, you need to think about how many worker or instance that you need to run in a Redshift uh, uh, cluster and you need to manage all the data and the structure of the data and the receive. And so from my opinion that BigQuery is better for small startup for the cost efficiency. So any more questions? Any more questions? Okay, cool. <laughs> well, thank you. Yes. Thank you for speaking. You did a great job. <laughs>